The crews were called out to the home in the early hours of this morning. It happened along Snyder Avenue in Sparrows Point. That's where we find Caroline Forback tonight, as close as she can get to the damage. Caroline, you were able to speak to neighbors today who are just devastated. That's right, and as you said, it's still unclear how this fire started, but the neighbors are shaken up after seeing the home fully engulfed in flames with someone inside. There is no words. There's nothing to describe it. It was just awful and sad all at the same time. It was devastating for the neighborhood to even wake up to something like that. Early Thursday morning, neighbors in Sparrows Point woke up to a terrifying scene. Well, we heard a big kaboom, which was the house exploding. According to the Baltimore County Fire Department, firefighters responded to the 2500 block of Snyder Avenue for a house fire shortly after 2 a.m. and found heavy fire conditions and a partial roof collapse. Clayton Williams, who lives next door, says he's never seen anything like it. Coming through the roof, it was it was engulfed. It was completely it was flames shooting. I haven't seen anything that intense before. A little after 5 a.m., Baltimore County Fire Department officials announced one person died in the blaze. The victim was identified as 85-year-old Joseph Nicholas. He was always in the house by himself, so I knew that he was in there and he didn't make it. I see him as I come and go. Sometimes he's just sitting on the front porch and I just wave and stuff like that. They tell us the man was homebound, possibly on oxygen, and a caretaker would check on him regularly. It's a loss. Nobody knows if he had family or not. And Baltimore County Fire Department officials say the fire originated in the bedroom. However, the cause is still undetermined. From now reporting live here in Sparrows Point, Caroline Forback, WJZ.